Hello my friends and welcome back to another vlog. So, God, the moment has come where I am going to do my wardrobe switch over. I have been putting this off for so long now, like honestly the longest time ever. It's the end of September, beginning of October. We've been in full winter, well, full autumn for quite a while now. Um, but I've just been putting this off so much. I just... I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, it's a big old job like swapping everything over and everything like that but I need to just get on with it now. I need to just stop being a baby and just get on with the job. Um, so the it is currently, uh, it's currently almost five o'clock so I've started this very late in the day but I um, it's probably gonna take place over a few days. <laughs> I'm making out like this is some like humongous task. Um, I'm gonna start with a clear out so I'm going to go through my stuff and see what I haven't worn um, and see kind of what to kind of get rid of, what to donate, etc, etc. Um, basically, um, yeah, I'm going to start with that and then we are going to package up all of my kind of summery stuff that I won't get anywhere out of now until next summer and um, get all of my wintry stuff out. So really lucky in this house, actually, the old owners had... Uh, kind of like a rail fitted in the loft space. Um, so it's not like a proper wardrobe. Well, it, it kind of is, like it's enclosed, but it's literally just like a rail. Uh, you can't, it's quite hard to get into and stuff, but it's been great for storing all of my winter stuff. So normally I pop my clothes in like vacuum packed bags and then um, pop them up in the loft, but I've actually been really lucky I haven't had to in this house. So um, yeah, that's great. So that means that I can just get all my summer stuff, sorry, my winter stuff out swap it over with my summer stuff and yeah we'll see how we get on um i've had a little bit of a move around in my um kind of office space dressing room because i just really wanted a bit more space in this room and i felt like it was getting very crowded and stuff so over here where i used to have my dressing table if you guys will remember from like i think i did a um a video kind of tour of my office stroke dressing room that's where i used to have my dressing table um but i've actually moved it into our bedroom um which um we'll see how that kind of works but at the moment it's working great and it means i have that space to film then um so i can film like a lot more fashion videos and stuff so yeah there's a little bit more space in here now which is great um so the first thing i'm going to do is grab a load of bags so i'm going to grab a bin bag for the clothes that i can't donate if they've got holes in them or they're stained or whatever it is and then oh god my knees <laughs> and then i'm going to grab some ikea bags for the clothes that I can donate. Um, and yeah, I'll pop all the information down below of like where I donate things. Um, and yeah, I think we should just get going with the video because it's gonna be a long one. I really can't be bothered. So my wardrobes are in a bit of a mess at the moment. If I just open this one and show you. So we have clothes all shoved in here. Oh, don't you just hate yourself for doing this. Yeah, it's so annoying. Why did I do that? Just, yeah. Damn it. Um, but yeah, we've got clothes all shoved in there. Um, this one is a little better, I think. Yeah, this one's a little bit better. So this is all my dresses. So this is probably one that is gonna have a good old switch around. I did consider having um, one of those. Oh, this one's really bad. Hang on, have a look at this one. Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? All of this stuff. Uh, I did consider having um, one of those people in that organize wardrobes for you, like, um, I don't know what they would kind of call themselves, like an organisation kind of expert person. Um, but I just thought, you know what, I can just do it myself, um, even though it's probably going to take longer. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go grab the bags and stuff now, and then we're going to start doing the clear out. I know there's so many jeans I need to get rid of. Um, the problem is, is I definitely put on a bit of weight, like over lockdown and stuff, so I'm not fitting into all of my jeans. So I'm kind of like, should I get rid of them? Or should I wait and see if I lose weight again? And then see i don't know can't really decide what to do about that but we'll sort of see as we go along but yeah i'm gonna grab the bags and stuff now start doing the clear out and then we'll start doing it, the switch over i hopefully i hopefully i know you guys love these kind of videos and i love watching them too so yeah should be a fun one well for you to watch not for me to do <laughs> right okay let's go absolute essential in a wardrobe switch around keep hydrated okay so we have a few of the blue Ikea bags and then um, I also have one of these big clear ones from Ikea 
These are great for storing like winter coats and stuff like that in, or storing anything really, because obviously they're see-through, so you can actually see what's in them, and it makes life that little bit easier. So, yeah. Right, okay, I'm going to start in here. I think I'm going to prop you up a little bit higher, because I don't think you can see. Let's have a look. Um, is that better? Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Okay, right. So... Um, I'm going to start down here actually, I'm going to pull some things out. Um, I like these, these are going to stay, uh, they're just some nice shorts, cute skirt from Zara that I wore on holiday, no I'm going to keep that. Put it in there, these shorts are cute, I'm going to keep them. I think I'm going to get rid of these trousers, yeah I'm going to get rid of them because I don't need them. I didn't wear them this whole winter, so they're gonna go. I normally try and follow the rule of if you haven't worn them this winter and you don't think you wore them last winter, then they need to go. That's kind of the rule I try to follow. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Okay, so yellow blazer. I wore this last year and I loved it But I just have not got anywhere out of it this this spring summer But then it's quite hard to judge obviously at the moment because we were in a pandemic so well, we are in a pandemic so Couldn't really wear as much stuff as I would have normally Like I think that would look gorgeous at a wedding like over your shoulders. So I might keep that Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really trying to work on just having like less clothes uh, and just being like a little bit more minimalist, having more of a capsule wardrobe. Um, it's hard, obviously, with the job that I do, but yeah, it's just something that I am really trying to work on. Um. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. Down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really want to know, really want to know if I let figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high. I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down yeah. Okay, so this is how we're looking at the moment. I know it doesn't look much better, but obviously I've got rid of a load of this, but I also do have like my winter blazers and stuff to pop in there. Um, so it's going to be a lot fuller. Um, this stuff is all stuff that needs to go upstairs. This is all summery stuff. Uh, this is a big donation bag or potentially to sell some of it. These are some jeans I need to try on to check if they still fit me. This is some more summer stuff. This is a big mess of hangers. My dad has an actual phobia of like messy hangers. So not that he watches my videos, but he would hate that. Um, again, more summer stuff to go up. These are jumpers and stuff. So I'm going to pop my jumpers in here. Um, so I need to clear all my dresses out. However... I am super hungry, so I'm going to go downstairs and cook some dinner. And I'll probably be back when it's dark outside. So I'll see you then.
Okay, so I am back from uh, dinner and we have done a little bit more. So if you can see here, these are a load of white dresses to um, donate or sell. Um, so yeah, I've moved on to this section here. God, it's just so full. <laughs> I'm such a dress lover, but I really do not need this many white dresses. It's actually a little bit ridiculous. Um, but I mean, these are the ones that I've sorted through that I want to keep. <laughs> Um, this is my engagement dress, which I'm obviously going to keep forever. Um, so, I don't know. We'll keep going. Um, I'll put you on another time lapse and then I'll come and chat to you in a sec. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down yeah. the sky is falling Okay, so this is the amount of dresses we're left with, which I don't think is too bad. These are ones I want to try on um, and decide, and then I have a big selection all over here. I need to get another bag, um, but we're doing well. I mean, that's pretty good going. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I need to try that one on as well. So yeah, now I'm going to take all these out and then um, clean this and then swap my jumpers and stuff, all my autumn knitwear into here or should I put my jackets no I think we're doing knitwear mm, yeah jumpers for me are like my white dresses of autumn winter i have so blimmin many Ooh, i don't know if you can see that okay brilliant <laughs> yeah i just have so many and it's a little bit ridiculous but it's also one of the main things that i wear in the autumn winter um so we need to have a sort out definitely uh oh god i wish i hadn't started this <laughs> This room looks an absolute tip. Okay, let's have a sort out. Let's have a clear out. Um, decided I'm gonna have a real big hanger sort out. I want all of my hangers to be black because I just think that is also why my wardrobe always looks a bit of a mess. So I've taken the plunge and I'm gonna make them all black and then Sam can use the other hangers and stuff um, and I can use them upstairs and everything. So yeah, that is what I've decided to do. Um, I also need to get my little debobbler out and give a lot of these jumpers a debobble because a lot of them have gone bobbly. Okay, so next lot of knitwear that I need to sort through now. Okay, so I don't think that is too bad. I know obviously that's quite an obscene amount of jumpers, but I mean, I don't think that's too bad. Like I've got rid of a lot, all of this down here. I'm gonna pop this all in a bag now. Um, I've got this bag here. So I was umming and ahhing about the gray, but I'm gonna pop that back in. Um, someone once told me that I didn't suit like a light gray. So ever since I've kind of just never worn it, but 
Not because I really believed in what they said, but just because I thought they were actually kind of right. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna pop everything into a bag now and hopefully this room will start looking a little bit better. Fingers crossed. so we have hit that time in the night where I wish I had never started we've still got all of these summer dresses I don't even really remember what this pile was there to be honest this is stuff to donate or sell again not really sure what this was um, trying to go through like hats and straw bags and stuff a big pile of hangers there um, more stuff here more random bits on this rail Oh my god, it's literally never ending. <laughs> okay, we are really taking this clear out seriously because I have not looked in this box since we moved in. Um, so, yeah, here goes. I feel like I've been meaning to do this clear out since we actually moved into the house. You know when you first move, like, there's just so many things to sort out so you don't end up doing things, so... Yeah, like I said, I've been meaning to do this for such a long time. I think these have got a hole in them. Yep, they've got a hole, so they've got to go to the textile recycling bit. Um, oh, these are some pyjamas. I'll keep them. These are also some cute pyjamas. Keep them too. love these jeans so much oh my god I love them but I will never wear them again because I don't think the pearl on jean thing is going to come back in I'm afraid that kind of teaches me for buying trend pieces but there we go I feel like keeping this for my child one day. Definitely would never fit me anymore. Oh, but I used to love it so much. It's like a leather little Western style skirt. If my mum owned this and didn't keep it for me when I was this age, I'd be annoyed, so I'm gonna keep it. Is that a reasonable logic? Not really. But we're gonna go with it. three years ago and I just don't think they're gonna fit either. Why did I buy such small shorts? Love this skirt so much, but I have not worn it in such a long time. Mm, but I kinda wanna keep it. There needs to be a place in your wardrobe for things like this that you just shouldn't keep, but you kinda want it. Okay, it has to get worse before it gets better, right? Um, so we have sorted through, I say we, me, I've sorted through my coats and I put them all in like a nice order. So we got like trench, we got like a cardigan here, a couple trench coats, camel coats, khaki coats, teddy coats. I've got a few more I need to kind of add in. I have my occasion wear here, all my lavish Alice stuff is all there. Um, and then still going with the bags. This is a bag that I'm putting together for um, a lovely girl that I help out um, just with stuff sometimes. So 
I'm going to see if she wants any of those bits. I've kind of just worked out what I think she might want and put it in there. And then everything else, I need to go through a separate date. But yeah, um, I need to hang some more bits up. I've had this um, cream blazer for so long and I absolutely love it. I'll never part with it, but the hanger's just broken. So I need to pop that on a new hanger. I also cleared out under here because that was just full of rubbish. I've just put my like weekend bags um, and I've also sorted out all my bags here so i have like all my tote bags and stuff in here um again sort of tote bags and like travel bags all kind of clutches and stuff like that and then i have all my bags here um so yeah i've stuffed like these bags and stuff so that they keep their shape um so yeah i'm doing like a real good clear and sort out so i feel really really good i'm just a bit knackered because this has been going on for about five hours now and I still can't see the floor. <laughs> also, there's a reason why I'm not showing you me because I have had to take my jumper off and I'm just wearing a bra because I am that hot right now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not ideal. Hey, so I've put a top on, so I'm not just in my bra. And I have called on the assistance of um, a very helpful and organized young man. <laughs> no, I've asked Sam to come and help me um, <laughs> because I just need someone to help me move some stuff out of the way um and i just just i need some assistance uh, <laughs> i feel like just curling up in like a little ball here <sighs> just oh my god why did i do that mm. oh, i could actually fall asleep i can hear sam coming Doing? Just some assistance. <laughs> hey, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I bought reinforcements. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be much help. I don't think I'm going to be much help. Oh, I think you are. <laughs> no, Ruth. This is not the kind of activity for nine o'clock on a Thursday. Oh, Han, it's got to be finished though. No. No, I just need you to help me move some bags. What else? Amongst the carnage. <laughs> oh. Raph. <laughs> you alright? You helping? Yeah. Probably not, no. Alright, Raffy, off. Do you think I should get rid of this cloak? I've got so many trench coats. I think it's time to go, don't you? I like that coat. Oh. I've got so many though. Yeah, you have. Do you think my mum would like that? I think my mum would yeah. like that. Should Should I say that for my mum? Um, right, I just need some advice on a few things. Do you think I should keep this? Absolutely not. You don't like this, do you? No. Why don't you like it? You look like a Call of Duty skin. Um. Okay, we we'll chuck it on that rail for me to come side later. Thank you. Don't worry. One bit. Um. Oh, Van Helsing. Cross with the toy arm in there. <laughs> Out there, is there some bin bags, some black bin bags? Oh. Sam, can... I need to finish it before we go to bed, and I need your assistance. No black bin bags. Hmm. White ones. No, there's only black ones in um, our bedroom. What the fuck? These are my sonnies. <laughs> I found them in a bag. I thought I lost these. Oh well, you haven't. Okay, you need to be so aggressive there. What did you say? I was just in shock. They're actually what? They actually looked a bit awful when I looked in front of them. Oh, really? Camera. Put them back on? Maybe it's the lighting. Nah, they're right. Maybe, no, I don't, I, do you know what? I don't think they're right with your long hair. Look like Alan John. Nothing wrong with that, though. Alan John didn't have long hair. No, I know, but... Did he? Yeah. He might have done. No, if you don't make it up. Oh, I do like these, though. Right. Are you off, then? Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 can you just take that black bin bag down, please? Do you think I should get rid of this? Cardigan. No, no you wear that cardi a lot. I know, but I'm trying to be cut for it. But you wear it a lot. I 
Hi, vlog. This little one has been stood there watching me for ages and I didn't even realise. You okay, Ruffs? Come here then. Good boy. Hello. Hello. Hey, what do you think of all this then? What do you think? It's a bit messy, isn't it, baby? You've been needy. Are you being needy? We are getting there, guys. This is a pile of things I need to try on. Then I need to sort the hangers out. This is for charity shop. This is basically a bag of clothes that I'm being really nostalgic about and can't get rid of, which is ridiculous. But right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to keep them until I'm stronger. I'm a stronger enough person <laughs> to throw them away. Not throw them away. Get rid. You know, donate. Um, <laughs> you're not sure what to do, are you, mate? You just surveying the situation I think you want to have a little lie down but you want something cosy to lie on do you want me to get you a blankie? so when we get you a blankie come here then he absolutely loves blankets watch this Ruffy come here that's it good boy on the blanket good boy yeah, I knew that's what you wanted <laughs> you just wanted to come and sit in here didn't you? With mummy. Uh, you've got something in your mouth again. Oh my god, I always think you're being cute and you're not. You've just got something in your mouth. Let me see, what have you got? What is that? This is what. Ah, 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 excuse me! That is what was in Rafi's mouth. And I thought you were being cute. <laughs> Every time you trick me. And that's just a hula brush. Good job I got that out because that would not have been nice in the poo tomorrow morning. Would it? It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me So, this is the bobble remover I was talking about, it's from Philips I think I got it on Amazon, I think it was like a tenner um, You just literally press it that way and it just shaves the bobbles off Okay, so I thought I'd come and show you the bobble thing. I don't know how well you're going to be able to sort of see it because this is a black jumper, but let's give it a go. Okay, I definitely need to show you on something that's not black, but it definitely does kind of work. Can you see I kind of did that patch and then I haven't done like all that. Um, so obviously you need to do that with that, but yeah, I'll link it down below if you are interested. So this is where I moved my dressing table to. I think I told you um, I was doing it. So yeah, I just moved it to in front of the window in our bedroom, um, but it's not styled or anything. But yeah, um, we have this chair that I need to sell um, once I've got that mark off there. Um, I've just got quite a lot of furniture still from my old house that doesn't really fit in this house at the moment. So just trying to work through that. These are bits I need to try on and then decide what I'm doing with them. Like you have no options. I ain't take your options. Nah, I'm not the problem. Man, that's on you, yeah. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb. So I just cleared the space up there because I thought, oh, that'd be a perfect space to put um, my suitcases because they're just sort of like sat around at the moment and they just don't fit. It's like a tiny, weeny bit more. So annoying, but oh well, whatever. It's fine. Oh God, I'm about out of breath after that. Oh, I nearly fell off the chair about four times as well. So brilliant. <laughs> These two are absolute part-timers, aren't you? Did about five minutes work and now you're giving up. Mm -hmm. It's not good enough.
bam. Yeah. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and put your hand out. Oh God. Come on. Okay, I'm doing it. Yeah? Put your hands a bit closer together. A bit more. Okay, keep your eyes closed, yeah? Keep your eyes closed. Oh, Wait, yeah. put your hands a bit flatter. I need to put something into them. That's a very unhelpful stance. Okay, keep eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed. Okay, open. Oh fuck, it's my wallet, really, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it was in your bag, wasn't it? All the shit that you grew up in for for losing another wallet. I knew it. I knew it, right? Oh, Raph. It was in my coat pocket. I think it was the coat that I wore to, um, oh, where did we go? Like, way before lockdown to the Peak District. Literally, like, eight months ago. Have you got money in there? Yeah. Fair <laughs> dollar in here. Are you annoyed at me? Uh, wow, that's how long. Like, they're literally all stuck together. Wow. Wait. Yeah, the new one. Is that a new one? Oh, yeah. wow. I know, but like prophecy. Yeah. So, are you excited to be reunited? Oh, I'm not giving it to you again. <laughs> you give me so much shit. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I just put my hand in there. And do you know what? I was just folding up that coat to put in the charity shop bag. And I was folding it. As I folded it, I pushed down on it. And I was like, oh, something in the pocket here. So I almost didn't take that out. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this vlog here for tonight. Um, but I'm going to pick it up again tomorrow. Um, because the wardrobe is not done. I decided now would be a good time to also reorganise the loft, which... <laughs> it's just not a good idea so the wardrobe is half done and the loft is half done and that just sums me up i never finish a job <laughs> is that nice rap <laughs> yeah so i'll pick you guys up tomorrow um because it's like half 10 now and i am knackered i feel like i really hurt my back trying to get those suitcases up in the um above the wardrobe. I tried to get the suitcases above the wardrobe, Sam. Oh my God. And I nearly fell off the chair about five times. Anyway, battery splashing. Bye. Guys, um, so it is day two of the wardrobe sort out. Um, got a lot done yesterday, as you guys will have seen, but we still have all of this to sort out. And also, I didn't touch this yesterday. Um, and my new hangers have just been delivered. So yeah, I mean, cue the time lapses again. Sorry, I hope this isn't too boring for you, but you guys said you want to see it, so that's what you're getting. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sort this one out now and then try on some bits, swap all the hangers around and we should be getting there. I also need to clean the wardrobes and stuff. Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy. I've been thinking lately, lately it's you. You stole your peace, put it on me. Maybe it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Maybe it's you You Okay, so my next job is the shoe cupboard I don't think there's going to be that much I want to kind of get rid of in here um, but I definitely need to swap out like all of my sandals and stuff. Baby, it's you, 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 you. What did you think? What did you could say whatever and I would never hear. You've been flexing everywhere. Girl, look in the mirror. Man, you're so dirty. Yeah, you look so dirty. You were never worthy. Okay, so that is the box of shoes to go away for the summer. I need to pop the lid on and then pop that in the loft. So, this is the current state of the hallway clothes and crap everywhere. So, I have got the big boy out, the teddy coat. I've got another teddy coat as well. And teddy coats are so hard to store they take up so much blimmin room but we're gonna have to make it work um this is a h&m one from ages ago which i love i bring it out like every year 
Um, this is a little Topshop number two, which I'm going to put away. And these are all of my hanger boxes. So, yeah, I'm going to swap them over in a second. Okay, so operation change all these hangers. So this is the before, and then I'm going to show you the after. Um, this as well I'm going to do too, so, but I feel like this is going to be the most satisfying because you can actually see the hangers. So this is the before, and there, all done. Now what I need to do here, this wardrobe, this wardrobe, and this wardrobe. <laughs> And these ones are done too. You guys might think you probably can't really see much difference, but for me that just feels so much more like clean, neat, um, and yeah, just really satisfying. If you guys are wondering, the hangers are from Amazon. You can also get the same from like um, Primark and HomeSense. But yeah, so probably won't show you the rest of them. Um, I might do like a final full kind of mini wardrobe tour once I'm done, so I'll chat to you guys then. So I just found something to show you the bubble off thing better so if you can see like all of these bubbles and then and then you can see that's the after it's still a little bit kind of around there a little bit around there I need to do a little bit more but definitely a lot better okay so the wardrobes are finally finished and it feels so good so it was definitely a bit of a journey but we got there in the end um so I'll just give you a little sneak peek inside oh I've literally just taken a jumper off this one to wear that doesn't look very nice does it but yeah these are all my jumpers, obviously on the black hangers. I didn't sort these drawers out. Top one's underwear, that one's gym. Those two are a mess. Another day, okay? Another day. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all my knitwear and everything like that. I've obviously got it going from like creams to browns to blacks. And then I have um, like my kind of shirt dresses and my black dresses because I still do like wearing dresses in the autumn, winter. I just don't wear them very often. So that's that one. In here, we have all my jeans and everything like that. And then all of my jackets and coats. We also have like blouses for like nights out or whatever. All here, my lavish Alice blouse. Um, these are shirts. Um, and then we go into blazers. Um, and then more like shirt jackets, leathers. Um, my khaki shirt jacket, denims, fluffy ones, uh, my big um sort of borg style jacket fleecy jacket and my puffer and then over here we have like leather leggings and trousers and stuff uh black jeans smart trousers darker jeans light jeans because i still wear light jeans in the autumn winter cream trousers don't really wear these as much so i might actually pop them upstairs um then we have like knitted ones and then we have a leather skirt and a denim skirt so that's them and then I didn't actually swap the hangers over for these because I'm just too lazy for that kind of malarkey and taking coats on and off is just too much palaver. So it's quite tight in here, but we have cardigans, my leather trench, my trenches, my camel coats, khaki coats and teddy coats. And then um, more teddy coats back there. It's a little bit ridiculous, the teddy coat vibe probably needs to uh, not have so many. And then I have my occasional wear behind it because obviously I don't pull that out as much, um, but I still want it here. Then I have my bags all here. Um, sorry, I don't think we're in focus there. Yeah, I have my bags all there and I've stuffed them and stuff so that they sit nicely. Um, under here I have, that's a little secret project I'm working on. <laughs> um, and then I put my hats and stuff like that and also my camera tripod just to keep it out of the way. So I ended up putting my um, travel bags at the top there, if you can see because uh, I obviously couldn't get the big suitcase up there. Um, on this side, so down here we have uh, like vest tops, um, kind of those shoulder pad style tops, white t-shirts, grey t-shirts, black t-shirts. This is quite empty other than this stuff up here because I want to pop like new in bits here um, just to make it like easier for me to find and do hauls with and stuff like that. So that is it guys, we got there in the end. This video is finally over. If you made it this far, then go you, you're amazing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.